I'm Ashley Tizale from this is the Suit Life of Sack, and you're watching Disney Channel Television. Hi, I'm Brenda Song, and you're watching Disney Channel. Storm, behind the ears of Disney. And today, we're on the futuristic set of the Disney Channel's new original movie, Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. Final touches, please, Mr. Yeah, that's good. The year is 2040, and I play Xenon Car. Living on a space station, she and her friends are constantly getting into trouble. Oh, but I didn't do anything until the day her parents ground her. And I mean, really ground her. To Earth. <laughs> Thank you, gravity. When you're making a movie about the 21st century, there are a lot of design elements to consider. Like, what do I wear? Kids from Xenon's world will be wearing hologram belts, lots of color, lots of microfiber. This, for instance, is microfiber. Can I borrow this? Here's a face you'll recognize. The Cosby Show's Raven Simone. She plays Nebula, my BS. That means best friend. You'll need to know that for the movie. But the best part about today is that we're shooting the first rock concert in space. It's Stellanarius. That means cool. You'll need to know that, too. Well, I think what's different about this is it's the first film about families and kids living on a space station together. And they love it. Just think. Life on a space station might not be so far away. And that would be Stellanarius. Don't miss Xenon Girl of the 21st Century, making its Saturday premieres on Magical World of Disney. Movies at 7, 6 Central. Nobody knows how checks can do it. Let the milk splash right through it. Then hold the milk till your mouth gets to it. Checks marks the spot. Light crunch, little sweet. Simple as corn and rice and wheat. Looking for a taste no other cereal's got. Checks marks the spot. Checks marks the spot. And now, look what you can get from Check Cereals, a Gigapack. Mail-in offer on specially marked packages. Why are alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat the fun. And is from Mikey. There's a Mikey in my alphabet. How does it taste? T <laughs> is for chocolate. There's a chocolate in my alphabet. How does it taste? Alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. The best. <laughs> and we have right. <laughs> we are live on the web. Three friends, one web show. No rules. Pump up the fruit. Nickelodeon's iCarly is available now on DVD. Get out! Each Ow! DVD is packed with your favorite episodes, along with exclusive special features. Wow, awesome. You can get your high-speed oh. connection to comedy with iCarly Season 1, Volumes 1 and 2. Available now on DVD. No what? way. Hey. Murphy, Johnson, school's out. School is out. Is the cargo safe? Come in, come in. Chef mm. Boyardee, beef ravioli, feed the knee. Nandim nya nene kalodian inya. Nickelodeon One world, one Nickelodeon. One world, one Nickelodeon. Hello, people. And now for my car. Here's fashion switch figures. So, all these fashions, it's total mega mix and match. Madness! Here's Carly. Here's Sam. You can style and restyle all their funky fashion. And Sam's remote people. Like on the show, you can make sounds just like the audience. Interview time with the iCarly Megabyte mic. Or rock it out to the iCarly theme song. iCarly fashion switch figures, Megabyte mic, and Sam's remote each sold separately. Peace. Ciao. 
This is Curl Power, and it's bigger than breakage. New dark and lovely Oh Natural anti-breakage recipes with honey and guarana root. They care for curls, defending them from breakage root to tip, so they can grow stronger and longer, up to four inches a year. And it's all you. So grow strong, long, proud curls and break away from breakage. New O Natural Anti Breakage. We are dark and lovely. Join us. Junto a Dora la Exploradora, todo es aventura. ¡Desmaye! Sorpresa. ¡Oh! Y diversión. Y cuando llega Diego, empieza la carrera. ¡Rápido! ¡Rápido! ¡A jugar! Y ayudar a los animalitos. ¡Súper rescate! Ven a Planeta U este sábado a las 8 de la mañana, 7 Centro, por Univisión. Help me, my toothache! No worries, I'm the Crocodile Dentist. I'll fix that smile, you Crocodile. I'm the Crocodile Dentist. Crocodile Dentist! Just grab and pull, there's quite a mouthful. I'm the Crocodile Dentist. Crocodile Dentist! The game's Crocodile Dentist. Take turns pulling teeth, but don't pull the wrong one, or he'll snap and you're out. It's a mouthful of fun, don't pull the wrong one. I'm the Crocodile Dentist. Crocodile Dentist! I win! I feel so much better. Crocodile Dentist! You're on Milton Bradley. The Numbered Papers Mystery. Hi, Mr. Root. What are you doing? Oh, hello, kids. I'm planting a tree for Arbor Day. Happy Arbor Day, little guy. Yes, once a year we have a special day to celebrate trees. Great, glorious trees. Don't you just love them? We sure do, Mr. Root. And there are lots of trees to love in Busy Town Park. Right you are, Loli. I'm handing out brochures today with information about all the different kinds of trees in the park. Ooh, it's a map. Hey, a map of Busy Town Park. Yes. Take a tour and get to know some of the beautiful trees that live here. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Root. You're welcome. Happy Arbor Day. Okay. First, we have to figure out where we are. Huh? Hey, catch it! Whoa! Hurry! I'll get it! Ah! Stay put, would ya? <laughs> Here! Oh, thank you, Huckle. No problem, Mr. Frumble. Caught ya! <laughs> hey, who caught me? Where's the string coming from? Oh, look! It's a kite! <laughs> Whoa! Lowly! Oh, no! Clear the path! Coming through! Bring it down, Big Will and Big Won't! Lowly is tangled in a string up there! Oops! <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> I feel like doing a little parachuting today. Big Will, would you give me a hand, please? Better yet, two hands. Ah, I can't see. The kite, it's getting away. Here, let me help you, Big Won't. Thanks, Huckle. I got a kite to catch. See ya. Huh. The number two. I wonder where this came from. There's a bunch of them, Huckle. And they each have a different number on them. Gotcha. Good save, Loli. 
You've got one and two, three, four, and I've got numbers five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Where's number seven? Number seven is missing. I wonder why these numbered papers were blowing in the wind. I wonder too, Loli. In fact, I'd say it's... A mystery! Busy Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here for Busy Town Action News, reporting live from Busy Town Park, where Huckle and his friends have found a number of numbered papers. That's right, Goldbug. We don't know where they came from. But we're going to find out and solve the numbered papers mystery. Right, team? You bet. We sure are. Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! You can count on Huckle and his team to solve the numbered papers mystery. And that's the buzz in Busy Town. Go bug out! Where do we start to look for clues, Huckle? Hmm. Well, we need to find a place where there are numbers. Look! Those runners are wearing numbers. Maybe the numbered papers blew off their shirts. But those runners are fast. We'll never catch them. Not by foot we won't. But if we drive, we can catch up to them. Come on, team! There's number 26 crossing the finish line. And number 33. Okay, keep your eyes open for a runner without a number. You mean nine runners without numbers, Huckle? <laughs> hey, look, there's number six. And number eight. But we have those two numbers. Exactly. So that means these numbered papers aren't from the runner's shirts. So it's back to looking for clues. Yep. Come on, team. Box 22 in the kitchen. Box 23, dining room. Look, those boxes all have numbers on them. Yeah, maybe our numbered papers were labels that blew off those boxes. Great idea, Loli. Let's check it out. No, these boxes don't have numbered labels stuck on them. The numbers are written right on the box with marker. So the papers we found must have come from somewhere else. That's right. Let's keep looking for clues. Look inside the bag. Is definitely the same size and shape as the numbers we found. And it's the number seven. Right. One number that wasn't on the pages we found. So maybe these numbers here belong in the bank. Let's go in and check it out. Can I help you? We wanted to look at that numbered paper, please. Oh, that's our calendar. Today is the seventh day of the month. So then maybe the papers we found are part of this calendar. Let's compare this numbered page to the papers that we found. Hmm, this bank paper is different. See, it has two holes at the top. But the papers that we found don't have any holes, just torn corners. Oh, and some sticky tape. Hmm, that means our papers were once stuck to something. So our papers didn't come from the bank calendar? No. But look here, there are pine needles stuck to the tape. So we need to go where there are pine trees. To, to the, the park! My cart, it's getting away! That looks like the kite people and Pig Won't were flying. Yes, it does. But where are Pig Will and Pig Won't? It wasn't our fault. Honest! We had to tie our kite to something so we could eat our ice cream! So I guess it's the kite's fault. And if you asked the kite, it would say it's the wind's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! We've got a mystery to solve! 
Okay, now which one of these trees is a pine tree? We just need to look at the map that Mr. Root gave us. Let's see. There it is, number six. So all we have to do is find the tree with the number six on it. Granny Goat, have you found tree number six? No, Sally. The only tree I've found is the oak tree over there. Number seven. I can't find any of the others. Thanks, Granny Goat. Hmm. I've got an idea. Come on, team. The oak tree is marked number seven, but no one can find any of the other trees on the map. I think I know where these numbers came from. Goldbug here with tremendous breaking news. Tell me, Huckle, would you say the tree helped you solve the numbered papers mystery? It sure did, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. We figured that the numbered papers didn't come from the runner shirts or the moving company's packing boxes. And they didn't come from the bank's calendar either. The papers we found had tape on them. And one of the pages, the one with number six on it, had pine needles stuck to the tape. So we went to the park where there are pine trees to look for clues. That's where we met Granny Goat. She could only find the oak tree, tree number seven on Mr. Root's tree tour. None of the other trees had numbers on them. The one number we didn't find on our pages was the number seven, the number that was taped to the oak tree. So I think that the numbered sheets of paper that we found were once taped to trees in the park as part of Mr. Root's tree tour. And on a windy day like today, the numbers blew away in the wind. Good thinking, Huckle. Huckle, I found something here. What is it, Sally? Look at this tree. It still has a piece of tape stuck to it. Look, it's a match. And this tree on Mr. Root's map is number six. It's the pine tree! We did it! Mystery solved! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Great for Huckle! Great for Huckle! There you have it, folks. It all adds up that Huckle and his team have solved the numbered papers mystery. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hello, all. Oh. I'm glad to see you picked up those paper numbers. Can't have the park all covered with litter on Arbor Day. Would you like us to help you stick the numbers back on the trees, Mr. Root? No thanks, Sally. I'm going to write the numbers on the trees with chalk. There. The wind can't blow away chalk. Ah, uh, this old pine tree is a favorite of mine. It's the biggest in the park. Look out! We can't stop! Whoa! This tree may be your favorite tree, Mr. Root, but I don't think it's the favorite of Pig Will and Pig Won't. We'll <laughs> be right back on Say It With Me. Look at your TV! TV! So Megan calls and tells me she's eating Reese's. I say, whoa, you have candy for breakfast? She says, not candy, Reese's Puff cereal. I'm on hold. So I snag a box of my own and crunch into this incredible combo of peanut butter and chocolatey taste. And Reese's Puffs are part of a good breakfast. Now you can get a free CD from GetMusic.com featuring top artists like Smash Mouth. Details on marked packages. Add $2.99 for shipping and handling. Limit two per household. A little cheddar makes a plain potato. Mmm, scrumptious. But without the cheddar cheese... Uh, no thanks. So add a little cheddar cheese. Ooh, thank you. And add a lot of taste. Cheese makes all the difference. All I want is a video gaming system. And a digital art studio. Hey, dude. Dude. And my own kicking video player. Dude. dude. Plus a comic book reader. Spider-Man. Dude, sorry, dude. Only Leapster lets you have it all. You want it all? You can have it all with the Leapster handheld. It's a game system, video player, digital art studio, and electronic comic book all in one. It's my turn. Dream on. Ah. The Leapster multimedia learning system from Leapfrog. Cartridges and batteries sold separately. Are you ready for fun? Aye, aye, Captain. It's
It's the Spongy Talent Show with iPop and SpongeBob. Let me get a good look at you. Uh, how long were you planning on doing this? Oh, 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 whoa! This is SpongeBob, tiny off. Squeeze him as Ice Pop. He's Ice Pop and SpongeBob SquarePants toy. He says 25 random things. What color is your Kool-Aid smile? Lemonade. Blue. Orange. Love tropical punch. Red. Red. Kool-Aid comes in so many fruity flavors, you can make somebody's favorite smile every day of the week. Great. Make Kool-Aid every day. Make smiles every day. Hey, Apple and Cinnamon. Oh. How would you make milk more fun? With Apple Jacks cereal straws, oh. man. Oh. Just dip them in and sip, sip, sip. And pull them out and munch, munch, munch. All together now, dip, sip, munch. New Apple Jack cereal straws. When Apple Jack cereal gets a cinnamony coating inside, everyone's a winner, man. So dip, sip, munch. I munch first. <laughs> And now, back to Cookie Jar TV. Sweet! The Sour Milk Mystery. Goldbug reporting from downtown Fizzy Town, where traffic has been jammed for hours on what Weatherman Wallace is calling the hottest day of the year. Good morning, kids. Gee, I thought you'd be at the beach swimming on such a hot day. We're going to Hilda's to make ice cream smoothies. We just came to pick up some milk. Here you go. It's a fresh batch straight from my farm. Thanks. See you later. See ya. You kids better take a shortcut to Hilda's. I was stuck in traffic all morning on Main Street, and it sure was hot. Okay, thanks. Bye. If Hilda doesn't hurry up with the smoothies, we're going to melt! No, we won't, because I'm going to cool us off! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the soak... Uh, I mean, the joke is on you, Pigwald! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, here are the smoothies! <laughs> ah, this tastes awful! Ew! Ugh, I've never tasted anything like it! Ugh, you're right! It does taste awful! But I don't understand. I use the same recipe and ingredients that I always do. Let's take a look! I used bananas, ice cream, and milk. I, I volunteer to taste the, the milk! milk. Pee you! This milk smells awful! Ew! You're right, Pig Will! This milk is sour, but you and Sally brought it from your dad's store this morning. Yes, and Farmer Patrick Pig said it was a fresh batch from his farm. So how could it be sour? I don't know, but what I do know is this is... a mystery! This is Town Action Buggies! So, Huckle, what's chillin'? Well, Goldbug, Hilda's famous ice cream smoothies were ruined because of sour milk. So we're going to find out why the milk is bad and solve the sour milk mystery. Okay, ready for it? Here goes! For important updates, don't you dairy go away. Go bug out. Since Sally and I got the milk from Dad's store, we should start looking for clues there. Great, let's go. Bye, Hilda. <sighs> it's so hot. I wish.
wish I had a drink. If someone was smart, they'd set up a lemonade stand. Yeah, I wish someone was smart. Hey, we're smart. Why don't we set up a lemonade stand? Right, but first we'll need supplies from the grocery store. Hey, Uncle Sally, wait for us! Hey, kids. What's going on? Hi, Dad. We're just checking the milk because the bottle that Farmer Patrick Pig gave us this morning was sour. Gee, I hope my fridge isn't broken because milk needs to stay cold to keep fresh. No, the fridge is fine and it's set at the perfect temperature. Ooh, but all the milk in here is sour. Smell this. Ew, I don't understand. How can the milk be sour in a cold fridge? Well, maybe the milk was already sour before you put it into the fridge. Hmm, you might be right. Hey, since Farmer Patrick Pig delivered the milk, we should ask him. Thanks, Dad. Come on, gang, let's go. He did it! No, I didn't. He did! Traffic jam that Farmer Patrick Pig told us about is still going on. That's okay. I know a shortcut to the farm. Follow me! Stop! Stop. Don't, Don't drink, drink that, that milk. milk! Oh, why not? Because it's sour. No, it's not. It's perfectly fine. In fact, mmm, it's delicious. How can that be? The milk you delivered to our store this morning was sour, which is why we came to you to see if we got a bad batch. No, the milk I'm drinking now is from the same batch that I delivered this morning. I keep all my milk in a fridge to keep it fresh. Then, when I'm ready to deliver it, I put a block of ice in my milk truck to keep the milk cold and fresh while I make deliveries. So if the milk started out fresh at your farm, but ended up sour by the time it reached our dad's store, then something must have happened to it between here and there. Sally's right. Would you mind if we took a look at your delivery route, Farmer Patrick Pig? Of course not. What do you need the map for, Huckle? Well, if we can figure out when along the route the milk went bad, then maybe we can figure out why it went bad. Here's the map I use for my route. I start at the farm, then I go to the bakery, the ice cream shop, then your dad's store. Great! Thanks for all your help! Okay, gang, first stop, Mr. Humperdink's Bakery. Good morning, Baker Humperdink. We're trying to solve a mystery. We were wondering if the milk that Farmer Patrick Pig delivered to you today was fresh. I hope so. I've been using it all morning to make my cakes. Yes, thank goodness it's fresh. Hmm. That means that whatever made the milk go sour happened after Farmer Patrick Pig made his delivery to Mr. Humperdink's bakery. What's the next stop on the delivery route, Huckle? The Busy Town Ice Cream Shop. And it's right next door. Let's go. Thanks for your help, Baker Humperdink. Get your ice cold lemonade here. Hey, where's my ice? <laughs> that feels so good. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Now we have to go all the way back to the grocery store to get more ice. Yes, Huckle. My milk is perfectly fresh. Ah, and refreshing. Hmm. I was sure we'd figure out why the milk was sour if we went to all of Farmer Patrick Pig's delivery stops. Do you think that maybe we missed a clue at Dad's store? I don't know. But since it's the only delivery left on Farmer Patrick Pig's list, we'd better check again. Thanks for your help, Ellie. Oh no, there's still a traffic jam. Don't worry, I know a shortcut to Dad's store. Follow me. Okay, so we know the milk was fresh at Farmer Patrick Pig's farm, Humperdinck's bakery, and Ellie's ice cream shop. But it was sour at Dad's store. So the question is, what happened on the way to Dad's store that caused it to go sour? Well, Dad and Farmer Patrick Pig both said that milk had to stay cold to stay fresh. So maybe the milk got warm. Maybe, but everyone's fridges were working. And Farmer Patrick Pig said he puts his milk on a big block of ice when he makes his deliveries. So, how could the milk have gotten warm? Get your 
to be frozen to work, Pigwill. <laughs> hmm. Ice melts when it's in the sun too long. That's it! Melted ice! I think I know how the milk turns sour! How? <laughs> Goldbug here, reporting live from the grocery store where Huckle appears to have solved the mystery. That's right, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, we discovered that all the milk Farmer Patrick Pig delivered that morning was sour. We went to Farmer Patrick Pig's farm and found out that the milk started out cold and fresh, but went sour somewhere between the farm and Dad's grocery store. So we followed Farmer Patrick Pig's delivery route to the bakery and the ice cream shop. But the milk in both places was cold and fresh. When I saw Pig Will's bag of melted ice, I realized that ice melts in the hot sun. And I also remembered that Farmer Patrick Pig used ice in his truck to keep the milk cool. So I think that when Farmer Patrick Pig was waiting in the traffic jam, the block of ice melted, and that's why the milk went sour. Well, there you have it, folks. A sizzling story ends with Huckle solving the sour milk mystery. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Hooray for Huckle! This is Goldbug signing off. Guys, I finally got all the ingredients for ice cold lemonade. <laughs> Huh? Ah! <laughs> Sergeant Murphy, what's going on? Sorry, boys. You should know better than to park in front of a hydrant. I have to give you a ticket. The ticket belongs to you! <laughs> no, it doesn't! It's yours! Wait for us! Well, guys, I think their lemonade stand just closed for business. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back on Say It With Me. TV! Little Caesars Hot and Ready Pizza. Walk in, walk out. It's hot and ready, whatever you want it. It's hot and ready, get it tonight. Pick up a large, freshly made, hot and ready pepperoni pizza for only five bucks. No need to call ahead. It's hot and ready all day, every day. Nobody gives you fresh hot pizza faster than Little Caesars. <laughs> It's hot and ready. I'm okay. Get it tonight. Pizza, pizza. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I don't think I'm You know why Quaker State asked me to be their spokesman? Because I'm tough. Quaker State is tough. Tough on wear and tough on sludge. If you use Quaker State in your new car's engine, they'll guarantee it for 250,000 miles or 10 years. In writing, Quaker State is one tough motor oil. So naturally they ask me because I'm tough. You don't think it's because they think I'm oily. Mmm, a little cheddar makes plain veggies taste better. But take the cheddar cheese away and you can just say... No way! Because cheddar cheese makes all the difference. Hooray! On all kinds of vegetables, cheese makes all the difference. Help the Butterfinger investigators crack a safe full of stolen Butterfinger bars for a chance to win $50,000. Buy two bars, snap the receipt, and enter at ButterfingerCaseFiles.com. It's the easy to make cooking show! Fun food in this! Today we're making Chuck E. Cheese pizza! This makes the pizza dough. Make it flat. Microwave for just a minute. Blend the sauce and cheese. Microwave again. Fun food in this! And you made real Chuck E. Cheese pizza with easy to make. Easy to make is... Fun food in this! Easy to make Chuck E. Cheese pizza maker comes with all here. Other ingredients needed from Think Wow.
We're watching what? Nobody knows how checks can do it. Let the milk splash right through it. Then hold the milk till your mouth gets to it. Looking for the place for taste. Checks marks the spot. Checks marks the spot. Is gone. Kool Aid is on. Get more smiles for Gallon. Thank you. He's sweet. Even with one third less sugar than soda. Kool-Aid, delivering more smoke.